Hello and welcome to the VC Mission and Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we are moving along with the Windows 7 Faster Windows 7 series. And today, I, I lied. To be honest with you, there was one more tip for memory usage that you can use to increase your memory performance. And it doesn't do a, well actually, it does do a pretty good memory and performance if you have a very, very large resolution photograph on your desktop. Don't recommend it. So go to your desktop. This is going to be a very easy to t easy tip. I'm going to show you how to do it really quick, and a lot of people are going to go, oh, you know how to do this, and you know what? A lot of people don't, so just move on to the next tip. Right-click on your desktop, and you're going to select Personalize. And at this point, we're going to change your uh, desktop background to nothing. That's it. So uh, under the desktop background, go ahead and select it. And uh, what we want to do here, instead of having the uh, picture selected where I have one of them checked off, you're going to select Clear All. And then for uh, picture position, we're going to select, um, actually, where are you at? See, it's not as easy as it looked, is it? Huh? 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 Let me click Save Changes. Maybe it'll just do it. Nope, it still does it. Solid colors. Picture location. See? Not as easy as it looked. For picture location, select solid colors. Sorry about that. And I'm going to leave this in here just so you guys know. For those of you who were arrogant, select a solid color. Obviously, play around with them. Find which one you can live with. I know you're not going to like any of them, but uh, if you remove a high-resolution photo off of your background, it will increase your system memory significantly. Because, well, not significantly. It might save you like 50 megs to 100 megs of memory because a lot of people put these really high-resolution photos on their desktop. That's it. This video went way too long. I was planning on making it a lot shorter than this. So go ahead and select a color. Bottom right-hand corner, select Save Changes, and you're done. And thanks for putting up with me and my antics here on this video. And stay tuned. There's uh, more speed tips to come. Thumbs up if you liked it.